Yep, it's true. Today, one of the biggest Indonesian YouTubers was terminated off of YouTube. They had around 13 million subscribers and they were known as Kalon Sajana. Now, my subscribers will know who that is because I made a video on them completely exposing them for what they did. And the video, well, it just hit a million views today. And I mean, I know, right? Like, hell of a good timing. The day it hits a million views, they get terminated. Now, I'm going to give you a backstory on all this because I am actually the reason they got terminated. Like, if I didn't make this video and speak out and actually contact other YouTubers, then today they would still have a channel and they would still be making content like this. Now, first of all, if you search up their channel, it no longer exists because they've been terminated. And if you somehow find one of their links off maybe their social blade and you click it, though, this is what you will get. It's their channel with a notice that says this account has been terminated because we received multiple third party claims of copyright infringement regarding material the user posted. Now, this is interesting, okay, because obviously you want to know who sent the copyright strikes, who got this done. And yeah, that's what I'm going to explain. So if you missed the whole drama between me and Cal and Sajana, well, basically what they did is they ripped off one of my most popular videos where I found like a channel that was above T-Series and PewDiePie. It was some sort of bug. And I debunked it, you know, I found all the info myself. They completely ripped off the video and claimed it was theirs, basically. If you want to see that in more detail, then a link will be in the description. I called them out in a video. It blew up, thanks to all of my subscribers. Thank you all, by the way. It went on a news station, it went everywhere, and they were forced to publicly apologize, take the video down. But before they managed to take the video down, I made sure that I sent them a strike because it's my content. You know, why the hell am I going to let you take credit for something I did? You know, screw you. So I got that in and I was one of the strikes. So obviously it takes three strikes to be terminated. I was one of them. Later on, I found out every single video that this channel with 13 million subscribers made was stolen from every youtuber like any youtuber you can imagine so i went through each video i found out who originally made these videos before they stole them and i contacted each user on twitter every single youtuber who had their video stolen i sent them links and i advised them on what to do and it looks like two of them sent strikes so my copyright strike and two others from random youtubers i suppose got this channel terminated and of course, this all started because I decided to speak out and it just blew up. So anybody who clicked on this video and you don't even know who I am and you're just wondering what the hell happened to Kalon Sajana, he was a fraud. He deserved it. He got what he deserved or they got what they deserved. However many people is behind this family or whatever you call them. You steal content, you pay the price. That's just how it is. And it's just incredible that a channel with 400k can do this to a channel with 13 million. Like, it really does show potential. For YouTube at least. But yeah, that's it for the video. I just wanted to talk about this and just celebrate it because it is a win. It is, they did steal my content and they did deserve this. So if you're new around here or if you're from Colin Sajana, subscribe because I make content like this all the time and apparently things like this happen here. Make sure you do have an amazing day or night though. I'm out.